Hi, I'm Brittany Droz, founder of Brittany Droz Coaching and creator of the Leadership Intelligence System. I work with entrepreneurs and anybody who identifies as a technical expert that is now spending more of their time trying to manage their organization than necessarily doing the technical work. If this sounds like you, I cannot encourage you enough to reach out to me just for a conversation you might be surprised at what you might learn. So you can contact me in a message, an email, a comment in this video, wherever you're seeing it, and let's chat, let's chat about what's going on. But today I wanna to talk with you guys about employee mental health. So this might be coming up more and more for you as we get deeper and deeper into the pandemic. Now when this all started, we would have never imagined we'd still be talking about COVID-19 this many months later. But the truth is, this is creating a tremendous amount of burnout and fatigue for employees. And it is showing up as a drastic increase in the rates of anxiety, depression, um, and lots of other unfortunate psychological stress for individuals. They have more pressures on them. Maybe they're homeschooling their kids. Maybe um, they're not able to see friends and family. And we don't have our regular coping mechanisms available to us. This is the perfect storm of a mental health crisis. And what do you do when it shows up in your workplace? Like this is not the therapy office. And what boundaries exist? And how do you have these conversations? It is so difficult to try to manage this space. So today, I want to, number one, encourage you to be talking with your employees about this, getting an understanding of what their life is looking like outside of work so that you can start to have this context for them as a person. So we're gonna talk about three tips today, the first of which being context. The more context that you have for the individuals in your organization as a leader, the better leader you're going to be. We cannot assume that anybody's home life looks like ours, that anyone's obligations and pressures are similar to ours. They're really so different. I mean, I have two little kids. I have a five-year-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old. The pressures and obligations on me are far different than another working mom who, let's say, has teenagers. And so we need to start to understand some of those nuances. And the only way to do that is through conversation. So the good news is, it's simple, all we have to do is have these conversations, but it's not necessarily easy, which you guys know is one of my favorite distinctions, simple versus easy. And it's not necessarily easy because what are the boundaries? Like what's a, what is okay to talk about and what isn't? And this also depends on the person, right? So first and foremost, we're gonna chat with our team members one-on-one, -on -one. can't stress this enough, do not approach this in a group setting, it's not okay. Not enough psychological safety there for people to open up and unleash about um, what's going on in their personal life and really feel safe doing it. So when you create these one-on-one -on -one conversations with your employees, we're going to, number two, focus on listening. So one, we're, we, want to, we want to hear about context, we want to hear about what's going on for them outside of the workplace. It's really going to help you understand where they're coming from, what they're starting with. And two, we want to just listen so hard because sometimes we think the best way to jump in and support someone is by telling them how we're stressed too, we get it. But when you pop in with your story, when you pop in with you know, your take about something that's stressing you out, it can actually work against you. It can really invalidate what they just told you and make them think maybe you're one-upping them or make them think you know, you think your stress is more important than theirs or greater than theirs. And so the best thing we can do is just listen. Often in my work, I, I want to solve the problems for people. It's what I do. I absolutely love it. But I have to remind myself and count in my head to five. It's really, really, really long five seconds when you have something you want to say that you think is going to help somebody. But those five seconds of silence are magic. Here's why. It's just a long enough pause to let the other person know that they have more space. You're giving them more space and they can take what they need. So if they don't need it, they'll sit through those five seconds and it'll be okay for it to be your turn to chat. 
or you know fill that in with whatever feels appropriate um, but if they weren't sure if it was okay to keep sharing. Now they get the message that they can continue sharing and you're going to learn even more about that person, even more about that employee, and you're gonna be better positioned to actually help them instead of tell a story that is relevant for you. Third, support, right? So we have context, listening, and now support. We can assume how to provide someone with great support, we can make a conclusion based off of the context they gave us, or we can just ask. And I'd like to go for the easiest one because you're going to far, you're going to do, you're going to fare far better by hearing the words directly from them. You literally give your employee an opportunity to tell you exactly what you need for support. There's no better opportunity than to hear exactly what somebody needs. So, th so what you can do is bring them in, ask them how they're doing, what does home life look like, you know, what's going on for them. Listen, 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 listen. Pause five seconds, listen some more, and then ask, how could I best support you in all of this? Right? I know the 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 dynamics are that. I'm your boss or I'm your supervisor or whatever, um, but I wanna know what would feel good for you. What would be the best way that I could support you? And then listen again, and then maybe employ that five second rule again. But this will take you a long ways. I would love to hear from those of you who have tried this, hear how that conversation went, what was unexpected, what did you learn that you didn't know about your employee prior. This stuff literally is the thing that lights me up inside. So please don't be shy about sharing your stories. Thanks so much for watching today. And until next time, keep creating magical workplaces, becoming a stronger leader and improving all of our communities.